Falmouth Tourship Association welcomes the Dutch brig Mercedes to the port of Falmouth. Here we see passengers embarking for a trip around Falmouth Bay. Falmouth is an old and busy port and has seen many sailing ships in its past history. The famous tea clipper Cutty Sark used to be moored in the harbour at one time. Also, HMS Ganges, the sail training ship, was moored at the Navy dockyard at Myler. Mercedes is rigged as a brig and here we are looking up the foremast. Her home port is Amsterdam. The anchor chains and winch are situated in the bow. We are now underway and looking forward by the bowsprit. Mercedes carries a crew between 9 and 12 members. Here we see them preparing to hoist the jib sails. Approaching and passing Black Rock, which stands at the entrance of the harbour. Now looking down at the bow wave cutting through the water. A female crew member unfurling one of the sails. Another male crew member running up the rigging. The mast head height is 35 meters. This tall ship was built in 2005 and is of metal construction. She was designed specially for passengers and for functions on board. The crew maintained the vessel to a high standard of cleanliness and seemed to take pride in their work. Under sail, Mercedes can reach a speed of 16 knots. I had always wanted to sail in a tall ship, as my grandfather, William Pascoe, was in the Royal Navy. He joined and became a chief petty officer on the gunnery side. He also trained the boys on HMS Ganges at Myler. He said they had a very hard life. The last one up the mast each day had the birch. A chance here to compare the size of the old against the new. You can appreciate how far shipping has advanced in the last 150 years.
here a passenger liner crosses Mercedes bow. My one disappointment was the weather. It was so calm and I wanted to feel the deck moving under my feet. But unfortunately, we have no control over the waves. It's now time to come about. Uh, we will be bracing, this means we're going to turn around the yard. Would there be five people who are willing to help us? Yeah. Right. Oh, it's cheap, I wouldn't have there. I look like he's got the right size. Oh, how clever! The all-important wheel and the engine control under the power of her engines she can muster up 12 knots Looking into the entrance of the land, where the bar and the shop are placed. <laughs> Coming up the stairs from the restaurant below. Scrumptious food from the restaurant, a plate of salmon and one of goulash, plus a chocolate mousse. Enjoy your meal. May I offer you something to drink? No, thanks, not really. Back on deck, a container ship, the Libra Rio, crosses our bow to continue her voyage. Falmouth Seafront showing her adornment of hotels. St Anthony Lighthouse at the entrance to the River Fowl and the harbour. Pendennis Castle and the Old Army Barracks stand on one side and St Moore's Castle the other, guarding the entrance. She's got the Cornish flag flying on the ferry, she's got the Cornish flag. This young boy may be a sailor in the making, but hopefully he will not turn out to be a pirate.
Passengers participate in hoisting the sails, ready for our arrival back at the quayside. Putting tires over the side, ready to come alongside the berth. All the passengers had a memorable day sailing in the old-fashioned way.